right, so we are now uh, in protection of Princess Canute. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and we have the land on the far bank today. Kind of bothers me how Crunchyroll never capitalizes all the letters in the title, but that's okay. Last episode, Thorkel once again reunited with his favorite little guy, Thorfinn, promising another worthy fight one day, but letting him go with Canute for now. So now, Asklad's entire crew is, I guess, responsible for... Like I said, I don't know if it's a prince or a princess anymore. And I feel like we're just going to be targeted by a lot of people now. I don't know. Regardless, it should be interesting. We're going to hop into it. Drop a like on this one. It does help me out quite a bit. And let's get started. Fish. Nope. <laughs> oh, I thought he was waving to the fisherman. Please don't hurt him, Askeladd. Please. The winter. Did fish actually hibernate? Am I stupid? That's not much, right? Oh. Oh, let King Swain know about Canute. Maybe. The king! Son of Lydia. I don't think he's ever said his mother's name before. Or was he making that up? Hmm. So the elders, like, a uh, staff for the king? Like, they'll make sure the king hears it? Can you actually hear, like, armies and stuff when you listen to the ground? <laughs> I'd be scared, too. His name is the ear? Conehead. Sounds about Thorkel. Yep. One day away. He can hear them one day away? They're catching up fast, and they're way more men. That's impressive. Thorkel must be pushing them. Oh, what? If it's any of Thorkels, I'm shocked, bro. Like, scouts, maybe? Sent way far ahead? Uh, yeah. He knows they're no match? Oh, that was the letter for reinforcements. I cannot believe Askeladd's actually asking for reinforcements. Uh, he's, like, low-key, like, scared of Thorkel, or knows his, he's outmatched for Thorkel. That's shocking. Two weeks? There's no way they make it to this fort in two weeks before they get caught up, too. That, too! That's also why I'm surprised Askeladd asked for reinforcements. Maybe there's more to this. I mean, he is usually a pretty witty guy. Oh, no. It's so quiet, man. I feel like this is where something goes down. A duel! Oh, no, it's not Thorfinn. Thorfinn hasn't really gotten much... I don't know. An explanation. Mm. Yeah, dude. You gotta be honest with Bjorn, man. You can tell someone's character. Oh, but he couldn't figure out Canute. Oh, no. Never mind. What? His future awaits. Dude, why is Asgard so, like, roundabout, man? I like how Bjorn's onto him, though. But Asgard has never been the most predictable guy to begin with. <laughs> oh man it's gonna push comes to shove and they're exhausted dude if they catch up they're done so make bunzo man oh oh what it looks like the pillars where asked had that conversation with thorfinn oh no there's no way that's all the reinforcements if it is then we're boned or asked has another plan the commander! Oh, shoot. Dude, this is gonna be like an army, isn't there? Oh my god, bro. Either that or they're just gonna escape on the ships. That's possible, no? Oh, yeah, no, they just left. Never mind. Wales. Wales and England are separated. To so the west of England. Okay. So this is pretty uninhabited. Okay. Thank you, narrator. Oh, one of the kingdoms in Wales. I see. I like how I'm kind of learning some history, like actual history about like the lands and stuff too. Oh my gosh, Canute's helmet is off. Not in anger, more just confusion. Or intrigue. Oh, they said it's mountainous too. Oh my gosh, Canute speaks. 
This is the moment he chooses to speak for the first time? Dude, I, I don't know why, but Thorfinn and like Asgard just seem like distanced father and son at this point. He's small, but he's good. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's going to use Canoe for in the story is like them bonding on very different sides. It's interesting. Oh! <laughs> now he's like speaking to him like his dad. He's like, yeah, yeah, we'll do another duel. Yeah, yeah. General of the Kingdom or of Morgan Gratianus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, he thought, he thought Thorfinn was Canute? <laughs> and Canute does not seem cut out for this life, man. Swear that whenever you rule. Mm. That's why he's helping them. He's, he's securing the protection of Wales. <laughs> Bro. You gotta say yes. They're helping you. Oh, friend's gotta speak for himself. Dude, the priest is still drinking. To get it in writing. <laughs> this is the most we've seen. He's taking advantage. Bro, they're helping you escape. Of course they're gonna barter. This is the most like development or most we've seen from Canute in the entire show. Yeah, what's the reward from Swain for saving Canute? A cool sword. Yeah, bro, you asked for money. Hundred in his bedroom. How big is his room, man? Bro is bricked up around all the boys. This guy's so done. Nothing of value. Is that lice or dandruff? <laughs> he just doesn't see that as value. The thing I seek. They're actually like intrigued now. Oh. Love. It's the comparison of like his men, these men and the Dorgal's men like making fun of him. Love is what gives value to silver. <laughs> they, just, they cannot figure it out. Most intriguing thing he's said so far. Ah, yeah, that's cool, man. I like that moment. Mm. Still a kid, yeah. The legend. Artorius, like King Arthur? Oh, shoot, sword and stone. I feel like that's an Omega foreshadowing, man. What is the ear here? There's no way that Orcal is anywhere near. This is the next kingdom over. Oh no. They have men hiding. Oh shoot. It's about to be chaos. They're all lying in wait. Imagine how much they would get for Canute. Oh, it's going down. Maybe running from Thorkel was the move. Where is he? They're going along the coastline. Dude, he's like, he's just slowly creeping up on them. It's terrifying. And they're slain. Oh gosh, dude. He just looks decrepit. Thor doesn't give a damn that his son is missing. Is that what? Is that freaking uh what? Is that Ilva? Leif Erikson? Leif Erikson? Oh my gosh! Everything's going wrong! And what happened to Leif Erikson's hair? Oh damn, bruh! I can't. It's a it's a cliffhanger, and I can't. This show is so good, though. It's amazing. Wait, that what? I don't know. Il if that is Ilva, she looks a lot younger. Maybe it's the short hair. I think that is her. Either it's Ilva or it's, it's uh, Helga. That's definitely Leif Erikson, though. I'd recognize that facial hair anywhere. I just didn't realize this was... Uh, well, where, where was it they were from? Because all the snow's missing. It's hard to even recognize it. But Leif Erikson is fine because he's... I like... They're being pillaged. All the women and children, I guess. Uh, this is... Oh, my gosh. This doesn't look like their village, though, necessarily. Again, maybe it is because... No, Oh, wait, this isn't where Thors and Thorfinn were from, but I think this is Leif Erikson. I think that is Ilva that he saw. Hang on, episode comparison. No, that's not her. Different eye color. Actually not her. This is Ilva. 
And her eye, are her eyes like blue? All right, here's a better shot. Yeah, Ilva's eyes are blue. Is that Helga? That looks too young to be Helga. Uh, okay, where's Helga? No, bro. Helga's eyes are blue too. Who the hell is that? Am I stupid? All right, well, I, I know the comments are gonna be frustrated either way if I don't recognize this person. So I, I'm sorry in advance. But dang, bro, what an episode is cracking everything wide open. And this is officially the halfway point through season one. I cannot believe there is another 12 after this because it feels like everything is just going down. And we see that the king is acting. I said he's not worried about his son being missing, but we see he is acting. He's sending out troops. It's why they're all kneeling before him. So I'm guessing he's going to start making bigger moves here and there. But I love how quickly it has developed this world in all these different places. It manages to keep it concise, but uses the players that it needs, like Thorkel. Like we could have had Askeladd's group just like marching on and that would have been fine. Thorkel behind him just adds this sense of urgency and then the unknowing of each land, if they're going to be like trustworthy, if they're going to betray us, like this one kingdom in Wales has. There's so much to it. I kind of feel bad for this guy now that's trying to barter because now he has like no leverage because Asklad or Canute or could basically be like, well, we, we don't know if you were working with them inherently, but I think Thorkel is going to, by God's grace, find some way across. And it's just going to be that sort of thing building in the background, like I said. But dude, the last couple have just been heat. But guys, that has been it for my reaction to the land on the far bank. It just gets better and better, man. Finland Saga is crazy. Let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.